McDonald's, when you pay for two hamburgers, french fries, and a Coke, you get change back from your dollar. Many of our customers think that's very important. Hey guys, today is going to be a short video. We're headed to McDonald's to try out their new Bacon Cajun Ranch McCrispy that came out yesterday. They also have a deluxe version of that. We're just going to pick both of them up and then we're going to take them back to the house and try them and you guys can decide whether you want to go to McDonald's and pick one of these up. So are you ready, Bobby? I'm ready. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. Here are the prices for the Bacon Cajun Ranch McCrispy, $6.19 for just a single. Medium combo, $9.99. A large is $11.59. If you want the deluxe by itself, it's $6.89. Medium combo, $10.29. And a large, $12.19. Now let's head to the house. Made it back home. What a beautiful day it is today, Finally. Bobby. Let's take a look at the new Bacon Cajun Ranch Deluxe McCrispy. 630 calories. It is $6.89 by itself. A meal is $10.29. Has a toasted potato bun. Looks like three pieces of applewood smoked bacon. There's that creamy Cajun Ranch sauce on it. I can see it spread throughout. Looks like, what, three tomatoes? Three tomatoes and a southern style fried chicken filet. Let's see if we can see that better. And some shredded lettuce. There's the fried chicken filet. It's supposed to be crispy. Let's see the side angle. Looks like the chicken filet is pretty good size. Quite a bit of sauce on there. Those are Roma tomatoes. Try it out. The chicken has a good flavor to it. I was surprised because I'm not always a fan of McDonald's chicken sandwiches. But they did give us three tomatoes. Um, the shredded lettuce, I like that better than the big pieces of lettuce that you get sometimes. Now, there was more lettuce in the bottom of the box. I know people are probably thinking, where's all the lettuce? We did have some, I just didn't get it all out of the box. You get the flavor from the smoky bacon. The potato bun is fresh. But this is gonna be a no, John. It's too spicy for me. All I'm right. On fire. Maybe you can try the regular one because it's going to have pickles on it. And that surprises me that the deluxe one doesn't have pickles. I know I can handle the heat, so I'm looking forward <laughs> to trying that. Because we've had the it. chicken sandwich before. But this piece of chicken is pretty good. Because I think I said that day, I'll never get one of these again. You did. Now it's my turn. They did put a lot of that Cajun sauce on there. See that bacon coming out of that? I'm gonna take a couple bites of it. Surprisingly, the chicken is pretty good for a frozen patty. It's not my favorite of the big ones. I like Popeyes or KFC better, but still pretty good, better than the first time we had it. Now, I don't think the chicken is that crispy because it's kind of been sitting in there with that sauce and we drove it home even mm -hmm. though we didn't drive it very far. Maybe it would have been crispier if we got it then. Can taste a little bit of crispiness from the bacon. I like it. You don't think it's spicy? It is spicy, but I don't think it's overly spicy. Uh, I think it needs some pickles. The other one has pickles on it, so I'm anxious to try that. Uh, the toasted potato bun, I think, goes well with it because potato bun is absorbing a lot of this sauce because that's what a potato bun will do because it's moist, so you can get some flavor of that sauce in the bread. I was thinking it might be dry. Let me just try this chicken completely by itself, see if the chicken's dry. 
taste the chicken by itself. It's a little dry by itself and eating it by itself, you can tell that the chicken's not overly crispy. The breading, I think again, is getting a little soggy from all the ingredients, but it's still pretty good. Surprised. Now let's take a look at the Bacon Cajun Ranch McCrispy. It's $6.19, has 630 calories, $9.99 as a meal. Has a potato bun. There's that Cajun Ranch sauce. Pickles on this one, I think that should have came on the last one. No lettuce or tomatoes. Looks like it has three pieces of that Applewood smoked bacon. And there's the Southern Fried Chicken Patty. All right, and the bun is toasted. Bobby's gonna try this because it has a pickle on it, but look at all that Cajun ranch sauce on there. Now you said you didn't think it would be as spicy because of that pickle. Well, you know, I could be wrong just for the <laughs> fact it doesn't have lettuce and tomatoes, but give it one more shot. Let's see the size of that chicken patty. Yeah, it's still pretty good size. Decent size. Well, John, you are wrong. It is just as spicy with the pickle as it was without. All right. I am gonna try a piece of the chicken by itself. The chicken's pretty good for being a frozen patty. I thought it would be really crispy because it looks that way, mm -hmm, but does. it's not. I don't know if it's just because we brought it home, it soaked up a lot of that sauce. Maybe if you eat it at the restaurant itself, it would, it would be crispier. So if you had to pick one of the two, <laughs> which one would you pick? If I had to just pick one, I would probably pick one with just pickles because I don't like a whole lot of stuff on the chicken sandwich. Um, but I wouldn't buy either one of them just because it's too spicy. The bun is fresh though. I like the bacon. Maybe just leave off that sauce. So you would probably like a McCrispy sandwich and we've had them before we and we didn't for care them. for them. Maybe they've upped their game some. You have to try it sometime plain. We ordered a combo. This is a medium Coke and got the fries. I always like their fries when you first get them when they're really hot. Good and salty. They're hot. Looks like this will be my dinner tonight. You might have to finish off both those sandwiches. I'll have to take you somewhere and get you something else. Or maybe I'll cook something here for you. Okay, cook me something. Okay, I'm gonna try it without the lettuce and tomatoes and with the pickles. There we go. So I should be able to get all that in the first couple bites. Beautiful day. The trees are starting to bloom. I don't know if you can see that branch at the very top. It doesn't have any leaves at all on it. Beautiful sky today like this one better than the first one just for the fact that it didn't have the tomatoes and the lettuce taking away a lot of that flavor from that ranch because you can really taste that ranch without those other items on there. It is a little spicy. I'm going to tell you what's in it here in a minute. Again, the sandwich is not overly crispy, but it's still flavorful. I think it's pretty good. I mean, you can taste a little bit of that bacon and press with the potato bun that's mm -hmm. on here. And also with the pickles being on here, that just adds an extra tanginess to it. 619, I think that's kind of high. I know it has bacon on it. Bacon's expensive. They're not huge pieces of bacon. They're crispy. They're crispier than the chicken sandwich. But I still think that's high. The other one's 689. You guys can decide if you want to pay that much for it. But the bun is very soft. I'm impressed with that. Now I looked up the ingredients of the sauce, Bobby. I couldn't find what was hot in there, according to the ingredients. It says it has buttermilk in it, sour cream, vinegar, egg yolks, paprika, garlic, salt, sugar, and honey. Hmm. And there's a few other things, but nothing stuck out to me as being the item that was so hot. Maybe there's pepper in there. I don't remember even reading that, but it does have a kick. There must have been an ingredient that I didn't know what it was, because when I read this early on, I thought, this is just gonna be basically a creamy ranch dip. That's what you told me. I did, but it said Cajun, but I wasn't expecting it to be that spicy and have a little bit of zest to it, but it does. But for me, guys, it's good. It's a good flavored ranch. And they put a lot on those. They did. I think I'm gonna have to start doing my own research before we go do one of these new items. All right, let's take a look at our receipt. The Bacon Cajun Ranch Deluxe McCrispy Combo. Got a medium, a 1029. Then we got the Bacon Cajun Ranch McCrispy for $6.19. Grand total, $17.47. We just got done trying the new Bacon Cajun Ranch McCrispy and the deluxe version. What did you think about them, Bobby? If I had to pick just one, I would pick the one with just the 
pickles on it. The bun held up pretty well for all the ingredients that was on it. They mm -hmm. put a lot of sauce on it. We had three pieces of bacon. It gave you that smoky, crispy flavor. I didn't think the chicken was too bad for being frozen, mm -mm. but it wasn't crispy. But like I said in the video, that may be because we brought it home. For me, it's a no just because it was too spicy. I was impressed with this because the last time I had them at Crispy, I didn't care for it at all. I thought the chicken tasted pretty good and it went well with that zesty Cajun ranch sauce. That kind of reminded me of like a pepper sauce. It did give you that little extra mm -hmm. kick in the back. I didn't think it was that hot. I thought it just blended in well. The pickles added a little extra to that. I think they needed to be on the deluxe version. You pay 70 cents more for the deluxe one. I say leave that off. Just get the regular one. That way you can taste that sauce and the sandwich itself. Maybe it was because we brought it home. It wasn't that crispy. I mean, because it's called a McCrispy. It's not that. Maybe we should have tried it there, but it still was pretty good. Now, would it sway me to go there instead of Popeyes or KFC and get their spicy chicken? No, but it does have bacon on it. Did enjoy that, and the bacon was pretty good. I'm still going to Popeyes and KFC, so I guess if you guys like the McCrispy, you're gonna love this if you like something spicy, because it's pretty good. Just something I wouldn't get again. If you do try this, leave in the comments if you thought it was spicy. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah, so until we meet again, J and B have left the building. <laughs>